Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel for another video and welcome back to week number 51 of the Dividend Investing Case Study. So back in January of 2020, earlier this year, um, I started a Dividend Investing Case Study completely from scratch and we are almost one year, almost 12 months guys, after starting that very first video, starting that first Dividend Investing Case Study completely from scratch, we are finally almost 12 months later. So anybody who's been on this channel for a while, uh, you know it's been a pretty long journey and we've learned a lot because I, re I literally did this dividend investing case study completely from scratch back when I really didn't know much about investing and I've learned a lot over the past couple months, over, almost over the past year already and it's been a crazy drive. Great, crazy ride. So I just want to take a quick little second to thank everybody. Thank, you know, all the viewers have been there since the beginning. You know, you guys support and um, your encouragement and the comments and the likes and all that kind of stuff. Everybody subscribing to the channel has really encouraged me to push through some of the tough times in this channel and just keep going and finally get to where I am today. So if you guys are watching this video, you're probably wondering like, you know, how did I get started with dividend investing? And this video is going to be really like kind of just going to go, go over the basics from beginner standpoint and show you guys, you know, if you want to increase your income, you want to earn more passive income and you want to get started with dividend investing, dividend investing is one of the best ways to make passive income, by the way, guys. It's also one of the easiest ways to invest if you do it correctly. And it doesn't have to be super complicated. And the way I invest is really super simple and really easy um, where you don't have to put a lot of effort in. You just got to know a few basic things and you just let it go from there. And you you can make it as complicated as you want it to be. You know, and in the beginning when I first started this portfolio, you know, it was pretty pretty uh, basic, you know, and it was pretty simple. I didn't have a lot of money, but I just kind of put a little bit of cash that I had, you know, throughout um, any kind of free cash I just had sitting around. I put inside the portfolio, and I'll show you guys a spreadsheet here where you guys can see actually like my monthly contributions, you know, but it just started with a couple hundred bucks, and then we made a couple dollars in dividends, you know, it slowly grew month over month, and then as time went on, and as this YouTube channel grew, like over the over the past couple years, this YTube channel grew, you know, I got monetized sometime, sometime in I think it was June or July, so this channel started making money. I started making money from affiliate income. Um, all you guys using my Wealth Simple Trade referral links and stuff like that, and all the ad revenue from the YouTube channel just allowed me to invest more. And I've been saving my butt off. Like I've been putting every single cent that I had towards my dividend investing case study to show you guys, you know, that you don't need a lot of cash. You just need to be consistent. And and the more you put in, the more you get out of it, kind of thing. And you guys can see over the month, the past couple months here, as I show in my spreadsheet, um, you know, the portfolio has just been growing, and the monthly income has just been growing on a pretty consistent basis. So before we dive inside the portfolio and I give you guys a bit more better idea on how I've done this and I give you guys some tips on how you guys can get started, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you guys want to follow alongside with me and grow with me, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more updates and see how this dividend investing case study is doing over time. All right, so let's go back in time and talk about the portfolio, you know, like when I first started, what were the first things I did to kind of get the ball rolling and whatnot? And keep in mind, guys, I learned a lot as time went on. And if you guys want to follow alongside with me when I first started this um, investing case, study, there'll be a link to the entire playlist. You guys can watch those videos. And I'll start from like the very first video I've done and you can see all the updates. But just keep in mind, I did learn a lot along the way and the portfolio has changed a lot since then. But one of the first things I did, and this is one of the easiest ways to get started with investing, was to buy ETFs and index funds. So this is basically an ETF is basically like a collection basket of stocks. So, you know, if you buy like a Canadian based high dividend yield um, ETF, you're buying like a bulk of solid, you know, companies together. Um, that have a proven history of doing well. Just like, you know, if you buy the S&P 500, um, you're buying like the top 500 companies in the US. And, and these ETFs, like you can look at the historical dates, you can see how much money they've earned over a couple of years. And a lot of them have a long history. So you can just see really quickly, you know, you can take a peek at like the S&P 500 and we can see like that their return over like on a yearly basis for the past like 10, 15, 20 years, whatever you want to gauge it on, it's a pretty solid return. And this is the easiest way to get started with investing. It's, most, it's the most consistent way. And oddly enough, it's actually one of the best ways to make the most money long term because you're not putting your money into stocks that you know one or two stocks that have the potential of losing all their value and yes you can put your money into stock and that stock can double or make a lot of money in a short period of time but the realist the realistically about it you know most stocks you buy aren't going to do that and nobody can really predict the market and if most people could there'd be a lot of millionaires out there but in, but instead a lot of people who try to buy individual stocks especially when they make it like the bulk of their portfolio they tend to lose money over time and you know that's why people go with ETFs because it's just a single um, buy and forget type of investing. And even nowadays, even though I do buy individual stocks, I still focus on ETFs. And I think they're one of the best ways to get started with investing. You know, so I opened up a Wealth Simple Trade account. I've put some ETFs in there, and I've been buying ETFs ever since. And that's how I've really grown the bulk of my portfolio over time. 
and you know to have some fun and because I like investing in companies myself I did buy um, some individual stocks and I do allocate about 10 to 20 percent of the portfolio to buy individual companies specifically mostly Canadian companies because I am from Canada and um, you know because I have a TFSA and some other things it kind of favors um, and it's just easier with the currency conversion to buy Canadian stocks um, uh, you know I do buy US stocks inside my TFSA um, but you know I mostly focus on Canadian stocks when it comes to individual companies so you know I pick some of the big ones I pick some of the big solid dividend earners but mostly once again I still stick the ETF investing for the bulk of my portfolio because I think it's one of the easiest ways to do it and you can't really screw it up if you invest in the good solid funds all right, guys, so if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, you know, how much in total have I made from my dividend investing case study? So I'll bring up the spreadsheet and you guys can see the monthly dividend income that I kind of already showed you earlier. But here's the maximum dividends that I earned. And here's a little, um, I'll do a quick little section here where we go inside the portfolio and I'll show you guys in total how much money we actually made from our stocks. All right, guys, so I'm going to go over the total gains here so you guys can see. So obviously, you've seen the monthly dividend income and our total dividend income for the portfolio from the beginning of this year to where we are in December. Um, which is almost, almost about 12 months now is $246. That's the total income when it comes to dividends. So that's how much money we made passively from our dividend stocks paying our dividends on a regular basis. This is all these dividends basically added up at the end of the day. And our total gains for the entire portfolio, if we take the total amount of the portfolio, which is around the $1,400 that I showed you guys here, if we go inside our Wolf Silver Trade account, we have $13,718. That's the entire portfolio. If we take that and we subtract all our contributions, all the affiliate income from that's going back Back inside the portfolio on a regular basis, all my own deposits and all the dividends reinvested, we are at a total gain of $1,488. So we gained $1,488 so far passively from investing in dividend stocks for the year of 2020. Not too shabby. And keep in mind, guys, this money is only going to grow as time goes on. And like I said, you know, it's not a lot of money in the beginning. It's a couple bucks here and there, but it does compound and it does grow over time. And the cool thing about this is it allows me to add and buy more things. And the main goal for the, this portfolio is to pay for everything that I own in my life. And this is also like a case study to see, you know, can I live off my dividends? How quickly can my dividends make my life easier? And even though it's just a little bit of money right now, it does add up over time. And just a little bit of money can go a long way if you guys stretch it out. And the long-term goal for this portfolio is basically to make enough money to pay for everything that I have, maybe alongside with working from home from the YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel has been vastly growing, so I do appreciate everybody who helps out the channel. You know, it's been growing at a crazy rate, and it really does help out, and it's starting to actually add up to be a decent income. My goal for 2021 is to go full-time with the YouTube channel and really see if I can make this work. And if I can make it work, um, that's going to be pretty sweet, and I'll be providing probably publishing a lot more content on a regular basis because of that but as you guys can see one of the biggest things I got from the dividend investing case study was just a, a better like idea of how and a better appreciation of how like things work in life and just the little things you know when I first started this portfolio I was buying like a cup of coffee per day and then I bought a french press to make my coffee I bought some drinking cups to drink my coffee in and then I was buying things like my um my groceries, I was using 20% of my, my monthly dividend income for my groceries, and I've showed you guys that in another video, what I ended up buying. And one of the new things I'm going to be adding inside my portfolio is a deck of playing cards. Now, playing cards sound pretty simple, and I know it's, it's you know, but I have fond memories of playing cards. Like, I remember sitting at my camp and playing card games with my parents and my grandparents and stuff like that. And it's something that a lot of people don't do. So I went to the dollar store, and I really bought this deck of cards for $1.29, guys. And there's tons of games you can play with playing cards. I'm going to look them up online. And, you know, I, I'm going to start playing more cards because I think it's one of the simple ways to, like, build a really rich bonding experience with people. And a lot of people just don't do this anymore. So I think this is a really cool thing. And I'm going to be adding this to my things that I buy with my dividends. And now I can appreciate playing simple card games, um, you, know, w w you know, and it comes at a really cheap price cost overall. So I went ahead guys and I added the playing cards into my spreadsheet and as you guys can see our playing cards represent a one time purchase of $1.29, literally a dollar for a set of playing cards and our total cost that we spend on our dividends is $32. So this is what our portfolio is buying this. Now we still have a lot of money to spend but I'm going to be slowly spending this over time so that we can reinvest those dividends and this little spreadsheet here is just a representation of what our dividends can buy and how they can make our lives easier for us long term. And to also give you guys a little bit more inspiration and show you guys how dividends really compound over time. You know, I went back inside my Wolf Silver Trade account and I, and I filtered it by dividends. So we can see the very first dividend that I got inside my portfolio. It was from XRE, which is a real estate based ETF in Canada. We made 44 cents from our very first dividend payment of XRE. And you guys can see that in the beginning, it wasn't a lot of money. It was a couple cents here. But these dividend payments for all these different companies, they really start to add up over time. You know, eventually we started getting a dollar here and there. And it just kept growing, growing over time. And then we hit $2. And then 
then as you guys can see, if we just bring this up here to get back to where we are nowadays, we're getting like $5, you know, $11, $4, $2, $5 from all these companies and they just really add up and grow over time. And that's the power of dividend investing, how it really grows once, you know, you start putting more money into your stocks and then those dividends, you know, will get reinvested back in those companies, companies and the money just keeps growing from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video inspired you to get started with investing and invest more money into your portfolios and grow that income. Remember for 2021, my goal is to basically live off my dividends and grow as much money as I can and document my journey along the way. So if you guys enjoyed this video, once again, if you guys want to join me on this journey, be sure to subscribe to the channel and do me a big favor and smash the like button because it really helps the video and it really helps the channel grow over time. So um, thanks for joining me today, guys. I really much appreciate it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Um, thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you guys later.